last 50 yeah. million yeah. years right. of history, you have to believe that something different can happen. Yeah. Confucius said... Just got down with leg day, and my legs feel like jello, like literally. Like, they feel, I feel shaky. It's a good leg day, a lot of sweat. Sweat it out, sweat it out, sweat it out. All legs, all legs, all legs. Legs, legs, legs. Oh, legs. Can do it. Can do it. <laughs> can always tell by these flaps when they starting to come in. I'm going to share with you my weekly workout routine. This is a new split that I just started on Monday. It's going to be legs and cardio. Now, when it comes to cardio, I do with the P90X, it has a thing that calls cardio. But like I said, you can go on YouTube, you can use a treadmill, you can uh, go on uh, Pinterest and stuff like that and just see cardio. Basically, you just want to make sure that your heart rate is pumping, the blood is coming through your body, and you're just sweating off that fat. So. Uh, leg day on Monday is legs and cardio. Tuesdays is cardio and abs. I just focus on my abs. Um, Wednesday is a rest day for me. So that's a rest. Uh, Thursday are arms, shoulders and arms and cardio. Uh, Friday, which is today. Today is Friday. I'm like, oh my God, am I messed up? But no, I'm, I just got finished done workout. Y'all saw I'm, I'm kind of delusional. Friday is legs and cardio, and then Saturday is uh, back and cardio. Uh, and with the um, with the cardio on back days, um, I put in abs too. You can just place abs where you want to. I'm reading this book, and they said that you can, because there's so many parts of your abs in your stomach, that you can actually train the abs like three to five times a week if you want to. So just to kind of tighten them up and getting that definition and working on your core and stuff like that so even though i'm not saying abs i do train my abs during the week but those are like the the main things and you just split it up to what you want to do rest days are very very important especially if you're just starting please listen to me when i say this because when i start i go ham for no reason and i want to work out and work out and work out and it's no it is a reason i kind of feel like if i'm not working out or uh, at the beginning, I used to make it such a a chore, such a um, such like a burden on me. So if I wasn't working out, or if I wasn't in physical pain, that means that I didn't really want this. So that means that I really um, wasn't trying. And that was totally my ego, totally the devil. Because of course you get to the point where you're so tired and you're in so much pain that you don't want to do nothing. And then once you don't do nothing, it's like, all right, forget this. I already messed up. I didn't work out today. You know. Just order pizza and I'm done for two, three weeks and then I will fall off the wagon. Instead of making it something that was enjoy, enjoy, enjoyable, your rest days is still good for your body. It's allowing the muscles that you are building in your body to, to rebuild itself and to um, break down those fat cells and stuff like that. So even though you're resting, you're still doing something healthy for your body. You're still allowing your mind to relax. And your rest day doesn't mean that you have to binge out on anything or, you know, it's just a rest day. And you can have an active rest day. For instance, like you might not just, you know, woo, about to throw my glasses across the room. You might not just zoom in on workout, but you might have an active rest day where you take the kids out for a walk around the park. Or, you know, you walk to the mall with your girlfriends or you just go somewhere, you know, like that. But it's not just like hitting it. Cause when I, when I get in my zone, I get in my zone and I push myself. I try to push myself due to the fact that, you know, I am doing this at home and I don't have a trainer and stuff like that. I try to push myself a little bit more than I think I can because it, it makes me, 
it makes me feel like I'm giving my best, I'm giving my 100%. Because sometimes if you don't have somebody in your ear yelling at you, then you can kind of be like, oh, I can't do this last rep. So I probably could do two more than I thought I could. So me doing those extra two, it kind of makes me feel better because I probably could have done four more, if you get me. So you have to come up with a split that works for you. You have to come up with a routine that works for you. Um, and uh, anything that's different than what you were doing in the past, is great so even if it's something as small as uh, deciding through your favorite TV show that you're gonna walk uh, while the TV show is running like for instance walk in place and then during the commercial maybe do jumping jacks and then walk in place and then do the commercial and just watch your favorite TV shows those little teeny things he who gathers little by little is making changes in your body even if you decide like hey I'm gonna take out sodas and I'm gonna bring in tea or I'm going to bring in water, you know, like that, that would help drop weight. That would help motivate you. It's little teeny things. It doesn't have to be this 100% big life changing thing. These little teeny life changes will then add up to a big life change, but we have to start somewhere and we have to be very gentle with ourselves and we have to be very gentle with our bodies, especially me. Cause I'm not no 19 year old spring chicken. I got bad knees. My back be bothering me. I didn't have three kids. I didn't have epidurals. I didn't, you know, I, it's a lot, but I mean, I don't let that stop me, but I have to be very gentle to, with myself. Cause like I said before, when I was starting before, I mean, I would work out to the point where I, when it, when I went to go sit down to use the restroom, it was painful. And then of course I'm drinking a whole bunch of water, but the thought of sitting down and getting up was just such a pain. The thought of just doing anything was such a pain and that's not healthy. That's not that's just the ego. That's just re the, you know, foolishness because then that would happen sneaking around. Then that would happen and then I would just feel a mess. So I always talk too much, but I hope this encourages you guys. I hope you guys are sticking to your 90 days to get your life. Um, and I hope you guys are really checking in on your mind, uh, body and spirit and soul. Before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I think that